I've never felt dumber. That thing, I was just like, huh? Hello and good morning, everyone. We are starting today's vlog in the car. Hey, nice hat, by the way. Hey, I actually <laughs> I like, I think I just love noticed that. this hat, you guys. It is so comfortable. I'm in love with it today, plus I have a greasy mess under this, so it saved the day. We're starting out today, heading to breakfast at Cubby's. I told you a couple days ago when Stephanie and I went to breakfast, I was like, oh, we've got to bring the whole family here. This place is so good. I can't wait to eat it again. And I'm going to order the exact same thing, but I'm going to nibble off of Hazy's plate because that French toast looked awesome. We are going to breakfast today to celebrate my dad's birthday. My dad's just incredible. So we have a fun day ahead. Happy Labor Day to everybody. Just getting here to breakfast. I gotta tell you though, we just pulled the names for the Instagram contest. The winners of the Instagram contest, we had to follow Edge Power Sports and Bryson Green. If you wanted that bonus entry, you just pulled two winners. Go over to our Instagram, check it out. They're both international. That was kind of crazy. Both winners have been pulled and posted to our Insta stories at This Is How We Bingham. Go check it out. And also if you want, check your email for details because you got a signed Bingham hat coming your way. All right, these guys are saying what they're gonna order right now. Rag guy, tell me what you said. My own French toast. If you guys saw the vlog where mom came here with Stephanie, the French toast plate is just Enormous. The kids think they're gonna get their I'm own. So <laughs> okay. I guess we're getting our own French toast. Oh, hey, Kirby. <laughs> Guys, I just found out you can get your burrito, your breakfast burrito, burrito. protein style, and you get tri tip on it and extra bacon. Who wouldn't do that? You guys, look at this French toast. Oh what my that? gosh. That is like this delicious dip. It's syrup basically, but it's like a buttery, caramely, frothy, delicious syrup. Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Sorry, it just looks so good. Mine looks very lame compared to yours, but I know it's good. I've got tri-tip and bacon in here. You can get that if you do it protein style, kind of up the meat. So is it good? <laughs> These are definitely full-size portions, you guys. Look at the size of those plates. Delicious breakfast to start off our Labor Day here, celebrating Papa's birthday. Did you have fun, Hazy? Yeah. Was it yummy? Yeah. What did you get? I got fish too. It was so good, you guys, and the syrup on it was amazing. It had like this coconut crust. It is unreal, and I didn't even get that. I got the breakfast burrito, which was also delicious. Headed back home now, we're gonna change. I don't know if we're gonna change, actually. I think we're gonna do some haircuts for the boys. Then we're gonna go get on what we call the potty train. Stay tuned to figure out what that's all about. All right, guys, we got fresh haircuts on these guys, looking good, and we are heading onto the potty train. Now, the potty train, you can see right behind me here, is actually just the front runner. No, this is the tracks, right? This is track. Tracks commuter train. So this is the commuter train. It runs from south end of the Salt Lake Valley all the way downtown, and it goes a lot of other places, but for our purposes today, we're getting on at the end of the line. We're riding it all the way downtown, and we're going to what's called the Clark Planetarium. It's a fun place with a lot of interactive exhibits, fun movies, and kids can learn about space, Earth, and yeah, we're spending our day off of school kind of being like a little bit nerdy, so. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Going full nerd on this one, guys. Join us. That's with fingertips, people. I don't know how crew does that. <laughs> crew, I don't know how you do that with just fingertips, dude. Two fingers. You guys, this is what we call the potty train. Now you gotta go back and watch a video where we took Brexton on the front runner train, which is a bigger train. It's like a big full size locomotive train. And yeah. it was his reward for potty training. And so for forever since then, yeah. he has thought that it's called the potty train. So anytime we see a tracks or a front runner, basically any red, white, and blue mode of transportation, the kids point at it and say, oh look, the potty train. So for Hazy being potty trained, which is a long time ago, another series of videos you should go back and watch. He took it like a champ, was potty trained in like a week and it was amazing. Actually, I think it was like the first day and you've never looked back. But anyways, we're now on the potty train, riding it downtown, and we're gonna go hang out at the Clark Planetarium and it's gonna be a lot of fun, huh, Easy? Yeah, and we're going to hotel, Daddy. We're not doing a hotel this time. Hi. Next week. <gasps> Are we moving? Yeah. Are we on the potty train? Yeah. Dude. Is that cool? Choo choo! <laughs> Why is it 10 times cuter with that guest? <laughs> Guys, this is our stop, Clark Planetarium. This place looks legit.
as this is a very rad table map. It's fully digital. Hawaiian Islands are volcanoes, buddy, but that's a big one. That's the big island of Hawaii. And they zoom in and out by spinning the table, and you move across the map by tilting it one way or the other. So they went from where we are now, across the San Francisco, and then found Hawaii. Oh no, oh no, it's gonna hit Earth. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's one of my favorite things. Oh my gosh, look above us. Those balls go all through that and they've added all these cool neon lights to it. And then look at this, this is where they start from right here. Right here, buddy, look. So this contraption right here, I don't know how this thing ends up out there though. Goes up, 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 out there. Oh my gosh, that is sparking your curiosity, folks. Learning at work, science at its finest. Three, two, one, still gonna send it. Oh! <laughs> Sniffing the moon, <laughs> sniffing some Venus. Hazy girl, what does this smell like? Hi. Hey guys, who wants to smell Titan? For some reason, I feel like that won't smell good. Oh, look at you go updraft, down. So you can make a good funnel out of it if you do the. I feel like this has been upgraded significantly since we were here. Like so much technology has been implemented. It's so well, cool. It's cool because this is where the kids come on field trips. And I'm like, this is genius. This is awesome. Like, right, guys, we decided the first thing we we're gonna do is hit up this dome theater. They said this is the place you want to go. Stick with me, Rexy Doodle, and this is where you want to see a show. Because look at this, guys. You lay down and look straight up. You can't even see because I can't keep the focus. But I'll show you in a second when we sit down. You sit basically. <laughs> In a dome, yeah, that plays above you, dude. More middleish, I think, is great right there where they're at. Yeah. Hazy girl, are you pretty excited? <laughs> and the stars are going to come out. The right, stars Daddy? are going to come out. That's right, right above us, you guys. All the way around you in a dome, and we're going to see stars. This movie is called Incoming. Supposedly, it's like asteroids and stuff. It should be awesome. I think we're going to get wrecked. I've been here before. It's awesome. Now that teapot is just part of a constellation, though. If I add some antlers to it, you can see the Milky Way in the background. Our journey begins with one such event. Whoa, is that a volcano? Whoa, that's where the asteroid probably hit. Whoa. We are looking at a magnificent <laughs> scar on Earth's surface. Fresh out of the dome theater, we had three of the four kids asleep, including dad was up and you, <laughs> I was asleep. Like, okay, I've never felt dumber. That thing, I was just like, huh? It's a little over your head. I think it makes you realize how little you know about space and what's uh, out there, and how cool it is. I wanted to go watch some like crazy movie where an asteroid is coming towards Earth or something. What is that one I'm thinking of? Armageddon. Yes. Right out of the theater, we come right out into some more interactive, awesome learning experiences here at Brexit Doodle. I don't know what this is. What is this, guys? What are you supposed to be doing? You're supposed to jump. You do, it makes it Rocky, okay, hurry, dude. They're doing a whole waterfall of them. Bam! Boom! Incoming, incoming. What does it do? Oh, dude. Whoa, look how it shoots around and they have little tails. I see the big one. Oh, Whoa. the big one. Is that the big one? Here comes some really big ones right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so cool. That, and look how they move down. They're like, that's pretty rad. That needs to be for Halloween, yeah. Dry ice and root beer. Look at that, look at this one. It's like it's got a motor on it. Look how they all act so differently. This stuff really does make you feel dumb. It does. I, like, I don't know how that works. I don't know why. They like feel stupid. So rad though. One of these kids is gonna get into science after today. I'm calling it right now. They're gonna get super into space and science after today. He does, and he knows a ton too. And crew is telling me stuff. He was naming the planets. He was naming them before they set them. I was like, we're engaging thrusters here. He's trying to dock this thing. You probably can't even see it. It's right there. And he's trying to do tiny little burst motions to dock it. When he gets it in front, it turns yellow. And when he's ready to dock, you hit the button and it goes green. Okay, dock it, dock it, dock it. Oh, you're red, you're red, you're red. Basically simulating just that no gravity up there. Oh, he's docked one. Okay, now go to your left, get that next one. Oh, you gotta go up, dude. You gotta thrust up, bro. This is an elevator. <laughs> which side do you think is gonna open, guys? This side or this side? This side, comment below. Which side is it gonna be, my right or my left? Okay, commenting time is up. The door is opening in three, two, one, seven. Oh, it was the right door. Oh, and it goes right out to this? No way. All 
All right, guys, we wanted to surprise you with a pretty epic vacation. We're going to Mars. <laughs> That actually looks so cool. Get together for a picture, but that is so cool looking. Guys, the Binghams are going to Mars. Uh -oh. We just wrapped up our time at the Clark Planetarium. What did you think? How was it? Super fun. Super cool. What was your favorite part, right, guy? Um, that's hard. You liked a lot of stuff. You're like Mr. Spaceman. It's like right up his alley. The, the Dome Theater? The Dome Theater. What was your favorite part of this today, buddy? Um, I think that Mars thing. The Mars thing? That yeah, was the, pretty sick. That was the game. Oh, yeah, the little rover thing. Rex Doodle, what was your favorite part of today? I don't really know. You know what my favorite part was? Uh, Asking Hazy what her favorite part was. Hazy girl, what was your favorite part of today? Elsa! Elsa? Did we see Elsa? Maybe the, the frozen dry ice machine that they have. Oh yeah, that could be it. Guys, my favorite part I by think far. My favorite part was the train. The train, which is what we are here waiting to pick up, guys. We're taking the train back home. Got the train ride home. We might stop and grab some dinner on the way, but pretty much we're wrapping this day up, you guys. It's really fun. It's really hot and sweaty out here. What was your favorite part, Mom? Because I thought the whole place like was just very cool, techy. I mean, it was cool. Probably the video was the coolest part. Like that dome theater was really cool. Awesome. I want to go back and watch more shows there, like laser light shows. I honestly could have fallen asleep. It felt like you were flying. It was like so peaceful. I know there was a few times where my stomach dropped. I was like, Whoa. Did you know what my favorite part of the whole thing was? Yeah. I brought the GoPro car, brought the new session, and I sent it through the entire place. Check it out. on the floor for with a brand new couch. Laz is trying to get a sip of your drink back there, I think, too. It's like moving in a picnic in our front room. We got some fun. <laughs> Olive just Garden takeout. <laughs> we were just ending the day. Kids are all in bed. Fun day today at the planetarium. I am so Tons tired, of fun. Though. We're exhausted. We really are. So we're probably going to watch like five seconds of That's why we, we got to sit on the floor and eat while we're watching the movie or we'd be asleep. <laughs> I'd be asleep, yeah. <laughs> back to life tomorrow. Back, kids go back to school. It was fun to have a day off and it was fun to spend it together as a family. I yeah, loved it. It was awesome. Lots coming up this week, you guys. Laz is trying to eat our food, so we got a jet. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you so much for joining our family. Thanks for the congratulations on 250k. Pretty it's only growing. You guys are the greatest, and we will see you guys tomorrow. See you guys. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Why is it 10 times cuter with that gas? <laughs>